Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, Celtic Daily Prayer. Uh, my name is Helen Reverend Holbrook and uh, we will start with our call to prayer. In the name of the Creator, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days in my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to seek the Creator in God's temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek God with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek the Creator with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek God with all your mind? Amen. Christ, have mercy. To whom shall we go? We have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Our scripture readings, and today I'm going to, for a change, read from the message. That's this one. Uh, we have uh, Psalm 42, 4 to 5. These are the things I go over and over, emptying out the pockets of my life. I was always at the head of the worshipping crowd, right out in front, leading them all, eager to arrive and worship, shouting praises, singing thanksgiving, celebrating all of us, God's feast. Why are you down in the dumps, dear soul? Why are you crying the blues? Fix my eyes on God. Soon I'll be praising again. God puts a smile on my face. God's my God. And then uh, to Jeremiah uh, 23, 18. Jeremiah 23, 18. Have any of these prophets bothered to meet with me, the true God? Bothered to take in what I have to say, listen to, and then lived out my word? Look out, God's hurricane will be let loose, my hurricane blast. And then we have Matthew 5, 14 to 16. Okay. Here's another way to put it. You're here to be light bringing out the God colors in the world. God is not a secret to be kept. We're going public with this as public as a city on the hill. If I make you light bearers, you don't think I'm going to hide you under a bucket, do you? I'm putting you on a light stand. Now they put you there on a the hilltop on a light stand. Shine, keep open house, be generous with your lives, be open up to others. You'll prompt people to open up with God, this generous creator in heaven. Lord, the word of the Lord. And our reflection for May the 6th. Many whom God has, the church does not have. And many whom the church has, God does not have. Who is the target of most of our communication of the gospel? Who are we seeking to reach? Some churches or ministries are seeker-driven, fashioning their approach to bring and effectively speak to secular individuals. They seek to reach unchurched non-Christians and turn them into devoted followers of Christ. Sometimes the focus is on is unchurched Christians, those who claim a relationship with Jesus, but are not committed to any group of believers. Another concern would be reaching church unbelievers, individuals who attend a place of worship but for whatever reason, remain untouched by the gospel. 
Then there are many churches whose main target, whether they want to admit it or not, is church Christians. The content, language, and style of all we present should be appropriate to our intended audience. Um, as we know, um, there are various uh, different styles of uh, Christian churches throughout the world. And uh, so currently in a lot of the faith-based, um, there is a challenge in how do we re-envision re church. And um, it is a challenge in the sense that <sighs> revelations have proven that there has been some hypocrisy and a poor treatment of uh, whole communities and cultures in the history. So how do we go beyond that? How do we truly live uh, the word of God in terms of loving thy neighbor as thyself? Where do we hear the needs? Um, what is the need of the time? Are the needs outside these walls? Um, I went to a, uh, a discussion led by uh, Nadia Bowles Weber and she had that really good question uh, that many churches need to look at in terms of their own inventory as a church and ask, if we continue as we are, what would be the result? And ask it honestly. So if a church is particularly for the church and for those in the current style as is, and sometimes it's the hope that people will wake up and realize well, if I do everything traditionally and I will come to church and you will often hear many of the uh, people within that church say, where are all the young people? Why do they do not come? It's a good question. And I think in that question, um, things may have to change and uh, things have to, you will have to ask that question, where are the needs? Are the needs of the people outside these walls, is it for them to be in these walls? Now that is a good question. What are the spiritual needs, the economic needs, the emotional needs of the population of this time? Because are we not truly like Jesus? Jesus did not preach in any particular wall or church. The Celtic uh, monks of the time, they did not preach inside the walls. In fact, I remember on the uh, archeological dig in Scotland, all you had was a very small little church and church was held outside. The monk would go and that's why the Celtic crosses were so important. They were placed where people worked and people asked questions and there would be the teachings. They would be among the people and where they were. But people would also come up to uh, bring uh, their a piece of paper or something to share what they would like to be prayed for. And I think everybody needs prayers at this time during COVID. So it is variable. It depends where you are. We have a very, um, we are blessed with such diversity right now, which means I think we're called to have a very diverse imagination and take excitement at this time and look beyond the walls. Look and listen for the needs. It will vary from one church to another but we need to be honestly ask those questions. And that is the challenge. And we have to make room for some challenging times, but know that it is God with us because we've been through this many a time, through a history. Uh, churches have been in flux with their population. In England, when there was a huge move uh, due to the industrial revolution of an urbanizing society that the churches of the rural areas did not make sense anymore. But the church placed itself in the city offering services um, and, and supports to those who live, who work long hours and working around that and providing programs to support and it became the community centers at that time. So listen, God, guide us, grant us wisdom, and the courage to ask some hard questions. We ask this in the name of the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And so, in 
You have brought us so very far in so short a time. In spite of our weaknesses, in spite of all our crime, you are worthy of everything. Every word of praise, every song we will ever sing. Fountain of all grace, our high priest. Make us a house of peace. Like the sun on a mountain top, a city on a hill, like a river that never stops. Let our love reveal that you are worthy of everything. Every word of praise, every song we will never ever sing. Fountain of all grace, our high priest, make us a house of peace. In the cold of the winter's night, in the summer's day, in the changes we often fight, let us learn to say that you are worthy of everything. Every word of praise, every song we will ever sing. Fountain of all grace, our high priest, make us a house of peace. Let us call to mind, O oh, those concerns and prayers we carry deep within our heart, and lift them up to our Lord Jesus Christ in this moment of silence. We ask that God answer our prayers according to God's will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our God, we continue to pray at this time that um, uh, we still have need your courage to face the restrictions and acceptance. But we also need to take care of those who are negatively affected by those restrictions, those uh, struggling with addictions and mental health and economically. Lord God, grant us wisdom as a community. May you set our hearts on how we can be supporting more supportive uh, community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all those nations who are in deeply struggling and have such high day death rates uh, due to COVID, especially India. Lord God, may we be a generous world. May we be supported. May the India government be given wisdom on how best to take care of its people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ as a light, illuminate and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me. Christ beside me on my left and my right. This day be within and without me. Lowly and meek yet all powerful. Be in the mouth of each who speaks unto me lowly and meek yet all-powerful, Christ as a light, Christ as a shield. Christ beside me, Christ on my left and my right. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Creator, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. God bless and take care of this day and remain healthy.